Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about transformer calculations. So there's two different type of uh, calculations we need to do when it comes to transformers. And the nice thing is we don't have to remember either of them, the equations for either of them. On the equation page on your P2 paper, we could actually find those equations. I'll put a red box around them this time to show those equations right there. Now what I've done is I've written them out bigger for the purposes of this video. We're going to look at each one, one at a time. So if we remember, the whole purpose of a transformer is to uh, change the potential difference. So uh, we're going to take these uh, calculations one at a time in order to try and figure out how to do them. So T3 or... OK. So let's imagine, first of all, we've got this transformer here. I could tell that this is a step-up transformer because it's got more turns on the, um, on the secondary coil compared to the primary coil. Let's just imagine we've got 10 volts that we start off with here, and we're trying to find out the number of volts, the potential difference on this side here after using this transformer. So if uh, we have a look at this, we've got two turns here on our primary coil, and we have one, two, three, four on our secondary. So first of all, we're going to look which equation to use. Now this one is using voltage in the primary over voltage in the secondary equals number of turns at the primary over number of turns in the secondary. This one is using voltage and current at the primary compared to voltage and current at the secondary. So because we're dealing with number of turns, we're going to deal with this equation here. So um, the first thing I'm going to do, well, actually... With these transformer equations, I normally find it easier to put the numbers in first, so substitute first, before rearranging. So voltage at the primary is 10, divided by voltage at the secondary, which is what I don't know, so I'm going to keep it as that, equals number of turns at the primary, so there's two turns on the primary, divided by my number of turns on the secondary, which is 4. Now I'm just going to simplify this a little bit to make it easier. So that's going to be 10 divided by Vs equals 2 divided by 4, which is 0 0.5. So what I need to do now is I need to rearrange this equation to make Vs the subject of the equation. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to multiply both sides by Vs. And that will give me 10 equals 0 0.5 times Vs. So I now want to get Vs all by myself, so I'm now going to divide both sides by 0 0.5. So if I divide that side by 0 0.5 and I divide that side by 0 0.5, I now have 10 divided by 0 0.5 equals v Vs. So remember, that's the voltage at the secondary. So 10 divided by a half is 20 volts. So all that I've done there is I've found the equation from the back, I've figured out which one I'm going to use, I've counted the number of turns, and then I've put the numbers into the equation, and I've rearranged. The other type of equation that I might have to do is for, um, for this one here. So in, let's say if I'm not looking at my number of turns, so I just have this here, now I'm told this time on my primary coil, so let me see, one, two, three, four. So let's say this time I'm told that I've got 10 volts here and also 10 amps. And at my secondary coil, I now have five amps, but I don't know my potential difference. So because this time I'm given amps and volts, I'm going to use this equation here. So my voltage at my primary, 10, times my, my current at my primary, 10, equals my voltage at my secondary, that's what I don't know, so I'm going to leave that as Vs, times my current at my secondary, 5. So first of all, I'm just going to simplify this. So 100 equals um, Vs times 5. Now again, I want Vs all by itself, so all I'm going to do is divide both sides by 5. Divide that by 5, divide that by 5. So now I've got 20 
equals Vs. So my Vs, my voltage, my secondary is 20. So when I'm doing transformer calculations, all I need to do, pick the right equation, depending on whether I know the number of turns and the voltage, or whether I'm dealing with the voltage and the current. So then what I need to do is I substitute the numbers in and then merely rearrange them in order to calculate. Remember, if I've got a step up transformer, my voltage should always increase. If I have a step down transformer, my voltage should always decrease. Thank you.